Hi folks, hope you're enjoying your FPL Sunday. I've got a case of the FPL Blues today after yesterday, but just watched uh, Bournemouth Arsenal. Uh, good game. Uh, Arsenal won a 2 1, so just going to pick out a few points from an FPL perspective here for those maybe that didn't see the game. Um, first of all, team lineups. Uh, Mesut Ozil was benched and didn't get on the pitch at all today, so. Ozil's a player we just can't trust in FPL. Can't trust him to show up. Um, Lacazette missed out completely with a some kind of slight strain. So he wasn't even on the bench. So he missed out. And in his absence, Aubameyang scored the winning goal. Uh, what else? Uh, Josh King was back in the Bournemouth starting 11 as well. He took his goal very well as well. Charlie Daniels came in at left back for the, suspe- uh, not the, for the injured Adam Smith. Uh, Daniels, he looked he looked okay going forward, but with Bournemouth's fixtures, you know, you don't really want to be bringing in a Bournemouth defender, even though he is only four point two. Arsenal lined up with a uh, three centre backs. They played Socrates, Holding, and Mustafi, uh, which allowed Bellerin and Kolasinac to push on a lot more, um, and that sh- that showed. It, it, Kolasinac got two assists, uh, got the assist for the own goal, which was. As good an own goal as I've seen for a long time. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Jefferson Lerma, a cracking volley past his own goalkeeper. Um, so Klasnach got the assist for that one, and then he set up Abamyang for the winning goal. Um, Abamyang, you know, before that goal went in, I was just thinking to myself, you know, Abamyang, he hasn't done much at all in this game. Uh, I can't, I can't see myself ever spending, you know, ten point nine million on him. And then, of course, as soon as as soon as those thoughts were running through my mind, he had a, a simple tapping. Um, but again, he, he didn't do an awful lot apart from that in the game. He had one or two tame efforts from from long range. Um, you know, w- watching the game, he didn't fill me with with confidence. He's not a player, you know. I'll be rushing out to get. So, um, and Mkhitaryan as well. Mkhitaryan, he got himself into a lot of good positions. Um, he's seen a lot of the ball. But he was extremely wasteful, uh, passing wise and shooting wise. He was he was pretty poor uh, today. So again, a player not in, doesn't really interest me. A lot of people are talking about Arsenal's fixtures coming up. They've got a bit of a fixture swing, but there's just nobody from that team that really interests me. Uh, I don't like their defence. The wing backs are great. Uh, Bellerin got forward quite a lot as well, and Kolasinac obviously got the big points all today. But I just don't trust them defensively for clean sheets. Socrates had a pretty poor game. Uh, Mustafi, I just don't read him at all either. He made a pretty rash challenge at the end, which could have cost him the game. Uh, Stanislas put the free kick over the bar, but I just don't rate them defensively. And clean sheets is always number one. So I just have no interest in Arsenal at the moment. As for Bournemouth, then they, you know, they were the best side for the first half an hour, um, and then the own goal kind of stopped them in their tracks and Arsenal kind of got on top after that but again it was a very good performance from Bournemouth I always enjoy watching them um, David Brooks again in particular caught my eye uh, he got the assist for Josh King's goal it was a very good uh, counter-attacking goal from Bournemouth I think it was an Arsenal corner um, um, it was it came to Brooks in the box and you know he showed great composure to slip it in to Josh King who it was a superb finish, left foot, top corner. Um, but Brooks was Brooks was excellent again. Had a couple of half chances himself as well, and he he, ha- he actually had a goal ruled out after after seven minutes for offside. It was a very a very cool finish, um, and it was a pretty close call as well. It, it was a pretty marginal offside call. So on another day, we'd be looking at another Brooks goal there uh, to go along with his assist. So. Um, Again, Brooks is a great option for his price. I think he's around 5.1, 5.2. He did get taken off after 72 minutes uh, for Stanislas. So that's always a worry with Brooks that he does come off early sometimes. Uh, Fraser, again, Fraser was pretty threatening. You know, lots of good set pieces. He took he took most of the corners. Uh, a couple of good set piece deliveries as well. So he's always a threat. There's always assist potential there for Fraser. Uh, one or two long ter- uh, long-range efforts as well. So... Again, I wouldn't be in a rush to sell Fraser. Uh, Wilson Wilson was pretty quiet today. Very, very few chances fell his way. Um, jo- I mean, Josh King as well. Neither of them really had many chances. Josh King took his when it came to him. 
but Arsenal didn't didn't give away too much to the to the Bournemouth strikers today. So I think that's I think that's everything covered. Uh, Lerma Lerma got his uh, beautiful own goal, and then he got himself booked as well. So I think he'll be on minus one. So obviously he's a player to avoid. He he actually had a pretty good game overall for Bournemouth. Uh, he hit the post as well later on, so it, it it was a pretty pretty interesting day for Lerma. Um, but that's that's it, I think, for Arsenal two, Bournemouth one. Um, I'll be back later with uh, with an eye test on Wolves against Huddersfield. I'm hoping that uh, Patricio, Matt Doherty, and Jimenez uh, limit some of the damage that has been caused uh, by my team yesterday. So. Going to sit down and enjoy that one now, and I'll be back again later.